Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV in our post Heavens Word playthrough. Here we are in episode four. Discovered that <clears throat> I still have a real strong hunch it's it's the you know it's the priest. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Let's just go ahead and talk to Lucia. Hope everybody's doing very good. Okay, casting, healing, aiming. Oh yes, there's my coffer right there. Hell yeah. Oh, I get a little white apostrophe fan. How? Oh, Aww, that scene was so sad. I do not mean to diminish our accomplishments, but until we identify the ones who ordered the fires set, our work is far from finished. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? Far too many to count. Ah. Lord Commander, your wounds... ...are healing well. Thank you. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. Lord Commander, an armed mob has seized control of the vault. And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica. As you ordered. When all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time to respond. They'd taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. And they sent you to deliver their demands. They, the true brothers of the faith, demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. Furthermore, they... They declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason, and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. Ridiculous! I mean, do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him? These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways. Unable to accept there can be no going back. Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. At once, Lord Commander. Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the broom. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the science? Of course. We are in your debt. I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atwarel. To arms, then, friends. Time is against us. See? I called it. Did I not say it was the priest? I knew it. That, that cutscene pretty much gave it away. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. 
All right, the pillars, we have to go back over here to the jewel. Play some of Bobber. Oh man, and I just bought those rings too. <clears throat> okay, actually it's up here. Oh well, that's cool. Up our gear level even more. Uh, yeah, over here, there we go. Oh, it's gonna be a... Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Listen well. We will enter the Velisca slightly via this gate. According to our latest reports, there are at least six hostages being held within. The numbers and readiness of the true brothers of the faith are unknown. I am told one claimed to have served under Thoradin the Seventh. Might the same be true for the rest? Given the swiftness which they seize control of the vault, I think highly likely yes, which means that they well possess the knowledge required to turn the building's defenses against us. Be that as it may, we have no choice but to press on. Lord Aratol, you are brave man and true, and none would dare question your honor if you chose not to risk your life in this endeavor. Are you certain you wish to join us? I am no stranger to the battlefield, Sir Emmerich. My arm will not falter. My shield will not break. Harlon is my witness. I will bring these fanatics to justice. <clears throat> well said, my lord. Friends, follow me. Let's do it. Alright, let's do this. To assume our present yet goes unnoticed. Come, we must secure the entrance. Remember, saving the hostages takes precedence over all else. Mind your attacks. There's one down. You must hurry. The others were taken somewhere by Sir Seminard. Sir Seminard? So this is indeed the work of the Archbishop's former servants. On your guard. They surrounded the alarm. I'll hold the entrance and look after this one. Now go. Secure the hostage. Kira, leave the others to us. Down with you! Wait. What hostage? I don't I don't see the hostage. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he is over there. My bad. No! found now it's over for you yes where are the others they took the others somewhere it all happened so quickly there they are let none escape
Oh, you underestimate me. What's wrong, man? You can't hit me? Sir Seminar, lay down your arms and release the hostages and you will be shown mercy. I give you my word. Ha! Huh. The word of a heretic and kingslayer. I will sooner trust a dragon. Activate the knights. We shall show the hostages the same mercy we showed the archbishops. Yeah, boy. Unlike you, Sir America, I am a man of honor. By my hand, you shall receive of the Fury's judgment. So it is to be a trial, then, Lord Arrero. Kira, leave us and save the hostages. I will deal with Sir Simon Lord. All right, we gotta go save the other hostages. All right, we gotta hurry. Guess we gotta get this done before his health goes down. Alright. There's one right here. Hey, asshole, back off. Stop that. All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This way? No. Okay, what about this side over here? Anything? Yep, okay. But that's around the other way. Okay, you're free now. You're okay. Alright, that's five, so there's gotta be one more left. I can't go, no, I can't go that way. Oh shit, alright, we gotta hurry. I think he said to go back. Shit, come on, come on, come on. We gotta hurry. Does 
Get off him, asshole. to go. Alright, that's it. No, don't stand in the AOE. One day, I swear you will. Dude, that was a close call. Now what? Oh, that's the final hostage. Whew. That was close. You must hurry. The priest took Marley upstairs and he saw you killed his... Have no fear, child. We will save your friend. Where is he? Where is he? You have nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy? Who breaks bread with him and calls him brother? Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you. Is it godly to spill the blood of an innocent child? To burn the homes of your brothers? Tell me, priest, is that godly? Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen. Your father's blood is on your hands, as is hers! Well met, Knight. Mayhap I chose an inopportune moment. Not at all. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Fortune delivered the child unto me. I had but to receive her. Thank you for saving me. Thou art welcome, child.
never did I think to be indebted to so unexpected a savior. But full glad am I to be so. Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. I bear a message from my sire. From Freysfelder? Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they for skies unknown did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. So it is as they say then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together, or drive a deeper wedge between brothers? After a thousand years, the world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. I share your desire for a lasting peace with the Javanians, I do. But I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen, nor on our own. I see much of horsifying you, and I could not bear to mourn the passing of another son. Lord Edmund. This day has been, this day has been of surprises, has it not? Tis but a pity that Fenir, Vidnafir, could not stay longer. Yes, I think it's fair to say that she timed her departure rather less well than her arrival. Well, time scarcely about does it justice, but one moment later we would have been a moment too late. Let us pray that the Ishgardians, who yet honored doubts, will take these events to heart and accept the truth of Sir Aramek's words. Well, it is only me that I inform Tatru of what has occurred here. If you have need of me, I shall be at the Four Temps Manor. Allow me to accompany you. Tatru would never forgive me if I left of the Rising Stones without saying goodbye. A moment, Kira. I wish a word. Tell me, does Sacred seem quite well to you? Um, 
I'm not sure how to put it into words, but... So you sense it too. A subtle change. Impressionable to, to, to most. I myself did not notice it at first, but upon closer examination, I saw that his etheric flow has been irreparably disrupted. As a result, I strongly suspect that his ability to, ma to manipulate Aether has been compromised. Simply put, Thinkard may no longer be able to wield magics. It would do much to explain when he chose to remain within the wilderness instead of seeking us out. He would have been compelled to rely solely on traditional methods of travel, significantly prolonging his journey. And he, when he learned that a nearby beast tribe was making preparations to summon a primal, it may well have seemed more sensible to wait. But this is still a little more than speculation. Until I prove, pray speak no word of it. Right then, I should be on my way. Krill may have charmed Master Matoya for now, but who can say how long it will last? Uh, and that sound means I got a free company invite, and no. Uh. Sorry, decline. Well, alright everybody, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to ring that little bell to get notified of all the latest uploads. Also be sure to check me out on social. Of course, details are in the description below. And with that being said everybody, I will see you all in the next one.